you know, it, it, it is very strange coming to conventions because uh, I never quite know what to expect, but more and more these days, people dressing up uh, and doing all that cosplay stuff really fascinates me and some of the artwork that the people totally amateurs they create uh, it's, it's like being on a film set they're so good and sometimes they're just really homemade crude uh, emblematic uh, of what the character should be there was a 3PO today who was really he was made out of foam and stuck together and he was kind of contorted and, and grungy totally the spirit of 3PO and the guy who'd made it had had endless fun making it and endless joy walking around a convention and the more people that come the the atmosphere of the convention gets really really good and <laughs> it's a real treat for me to walk around you know I'm here meeting fans and having them ask me questions about 3PO and actually, you know, 3PO is the biggest cosplay ever and possibly the most uncomfortable. So uh, he would feel quite at home here, but I feel better dressed like this. It's very curious when I meet a f fan because <clears throat> there were times I used to think this person's really nuts. They're just standing there staring. And then, you know, somebody said, they're, they're, all, they're, they're overwhelmed. Well, <laughs> it's just me. Now, if I was in the gold suit, yes, it's a bit, uh, wow, how do I deal with this? It's just me. Creepy, of course, has appeared in all nine movies and all the spin-offs and all that kind of thing. And I'm very grateful that you know, he's given me years of work. Um, one of the most memorable things, you know, and I, I obviously put my footprints outside the Chinese theater in Hollywood and all that kind of thing. And I've had some pretty extraordinary experiences with the character. But back in the day, back in 1976, the first time 3PO emerged from the, the little bell tent in which he had been put together around my body, and I stepped out very slowly into the desert sun and saw the reaction of the crew staring at me. It absolutely, because nobody had seen the costume before. That was an extraordinary experience. It was downhill from then on, it was pretty like. And of course on day two, yeah, day three, I was a prop. They'd yeah, forgotten about me. It is weird that, you know, back in 1976 when we were shooting the original The Star Wars, that was the title of the movie, uh, that Carrie and Mark and I and, and Harrison and even Sir Alec Guinness <clears throat> kind of thought it was rubbish. Now this has been much written about. Uh, we all said the lines very professionally and really worked hard, you know, professional actors. Uh, then the film opened and suddenly George's vision, which frankly was not clear on the set, he had his own way of thinking, working. The English crew didn't get it. The English actor didn't get it, but he got 3PO. You know, that's a pretty straight line from me to him. Um, but then the audience got it. Big, big time, big, as we know. Back in the day, the phrase, it went viral. Nobody would have known what that meant. It went viral. <laughs>